Hi everyone, we are here today with this month's successful woman, Erica Alexander of Alexander Eats. Erica, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here in Chickasha? Yeah, so my husband Cody and I own Alexander Eats. Um, I've been born and raised really around the Chickasha area and even attended USAO and so we've lived here basically my entire life. Um, we, like I said, own Alexander Eats, a restaurant here in Chickasha. Um, we have three amazing kiddos, one of which will graduate from Chickasha this coming spring. Um, we are heavily involved in planning Victory Family Church. We're very excited about that. Um, I'm honored to serve as vice president of the quarterback club that helps support Chickasha football. Um, amazing people in that organization. And we really just try to serve our community in any way that we can. So this is our Successful Woman series. Can you tell us a little bit about what you would say defines a successful woman? So success for me in any area of life, whether it's business or home or through civic organizations, all comes down to serving people well. So for me, all the people that I see and the, those that I admire and aspire to be like in my own life are the best servants of others. So whether you own a business and you have to serve your customers, or you are an employer and have to serve your employees, or an employee serving your employer, or in one of these amazing civic organizations that we have here in Chickasha, you're serving the community. So for me, it all comes back to service and doing that well with a gracious and joyful spirit. There are so many women in this community who want to get involved, but maybe just don't know how or feel a little intimidated. What would you say to those women to encourage them to get off the sideline and really kind of jump in and get involved in the Chickasha community? So for me, anytime I am thinking about serving or giving of my time or doing something that's going to help better an organization or a group of people, I try to look for my best yes. The one that where I serve, I'm going to be the happiest and also make the most amount of difference. Also, it's always a great idea to look at the other people involved and see if they're ones that you want to do life with. Um, when we're giving of our time, we want to make sure that we do it, again, joyfully and really in a spirit of giving. And so making sure that it is within your passions, within um, your skill set even, but also not being afraid to try new things and honestly, really just kind of just do it. You know, there's always reasons not to, but there's so many more reasons to do it. When you serve others and help in the community, it, it enriches the area that you live in, but it also feeds your own soul. Okay, so this is my favorite part. I know it's probably the most difficult part for you because there are so many successful women here in Chickasha. But do you have somebody in mind for next month's video? So this is honestly the hardest question for me. I have so many women who came to my mind that are successful owning their own business, successful teaching or, or administrating in the school system, who honestly um, don't actually work anywhere for pay, but they give of their time to uh, help in the community. And, and all of those women are so successful in my mind that it was really difficult to choose. So my husband said, who would you want our daughter to live with for a month? Who would you say, that if she lived with him for a month, um, she would come out the other side better and, 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 and really learn from that person. And immediately I thought Lisa McPherson. She's been a wonderful, wonderful um, role model in the community for as long as I can remember. And then with the opening of her new store and how just gorgeous and successful it is, she just exudes success for me in every aspect of her life. So Lisa is my choice. Wow. Well, Lisa is a fantastic pick. She uh, did just open a business here in Chickasha and is one of our chamber members. We are looking forward to talking with Lisa next month. And Erica, thank you so much for sharing your story with us today.